This is lesson 18 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. If you surfed into this lesson, you might prefer to get a full picture of how Joomla works by watching this entire course. I recommend that you watch from at least lesson 13 and you'll find a link to this or the course playlist somewhere on this page. In this lesson I explain the basics of working with Joomla templates, including how to find templates, install them and configure the settings. One of the great things about Joomla is the wide range of templates that are available. If you are a designer, you can create your own templates too, or find someone experienced to code a template from your design. The process of creating a template is complex, so this is not taught in this series. But if that interests you, please check out our Joomla Pro course. Templates are technically a type of extension, and they manage an administrator under Extensions, Template Manager. You'll see that this version of Joomla has six templates installed by default, four site templates, and two administrator templates. The templates being used are marked with a star. To change the template, simply click the button to the left of the template name, and click the Make Default Star in the top right. The default star moves to the newly selected template. Now when you look at the front end of the site, you'll see that it has a completely different look. Choose the next one, and click Make Default. And once again, the site design has changed. You're not limited to these three. There are thousands of off-the-shelf Joomla templates available. Some are free, but the better designs are commercial and you can expect to pay between $30 to $60 per template. We have a list of recommended template providers listed on the resources page of our website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. When you find a suitable template, have a read of the installation instructions, usually provided by the template developer, as everyone has a different way of doing things. There are three common methods to installing templates. Installing a quick start package, installing the template on its own, or installing the template along with some supporting files. So the first option is to install what's known as a quick start package. This is a single file that contains the template file along with all the Joomla files. This is only useful if you haven't started to build your website yet. When you choose a template and go to the download page, have a read of the instructions to determine if the developer has provided a quick start package. There will often be a reference to the file including a copy of the Joomla files. I'm not going to demonstrate this method as the process is the same as installing Joomla. You walk through the same steps demonstrated in the earlier lessons in this course, so if you need help with this option go back and watch from lesson 5. But the difference is that instead of downloading the Joomla file from Joomla, you download the quick start package from the template developer. Work through the installation in the same way and make sure you install the sample data. When the installation is complete, you end up with a Joomla website that looks the same as the demo version on the developer's website. So it contains its own sample data and quite often other features as well. In other cases, the method is to install a template into an existing Joomla website, but there are two ways this might be done. The first method is to install a single file. Once again, have a read through the template download page and make sure you're downloading a template that's compatible with your version of Joomla. For example, this template file is for Joomla 1.5, which will not work with Joomla 2.5. But when I scroll up, I can see that there is a version for Joomla 2.5, and so that's the one to download. Just click the download button 
and save it to, to your computer in the same way as you would download any other internet file. This particular template just needs to be installed directly as is. So the next step is to log in to Administrator. Then go to Extensions, Extensions Manager. Click the Choose File button and navigate to the location of the template zip file you downloaded. Select it. Click the Upload and Install button. Depending on the size of your template and your internet connection speed, this could take some time. Once it's been uploaded, you need to make it the new default template. Go to Extensions, Template Manager, Click the checkbox next to the name of the newly installed template and then click the Make Default button. Go to your front end to see the results. It may not look exactly the same as the demonstration that you saw from the template developer and this is where you need to refer to the instructions that came with the template to see what changes you need to make to your configuration to produce the best result. With some templates you might need to download the template file plus one or more supporting files. Hopefully the developer will make this clear, but if you find that after you install a template that you're getting an error on the front end such as framework missing, it means that there are more template files to install. Let's take a look at an example. This is the template I'll be installing and as I'm after the Joomla 2.5 version, this is the appropriate download link. There are four available downloads. The first one is the Quick Start Package, which isn't helpful on this occasion. The second file is the actual template. There are two other files, and I'll get those as well. When I click the Download button, a single file is created and saved to my local computer. Now, if I'd bothered to read the instructions, I would have discovered that the file that was downloaded needs to be extracted first. In other words, you don't try to install the single file that was downloaded. So, I'll open the downloaded file and extract its contents. The extracted files include the actual template, the template framework, and a supporting file. I'll go ahead and install just the template. So back in Administrator, this is managed at Extensions, Extension Manager, then Upload the file. You should install the other two files as well, but I'll skip this for now to prove a point. In the previous example, the next step was to go to Extensions, Template Manager, and mark the template as default. When I do this with this template, and go to the front end, you'll see that an error is displayed. So, for this template, a supporting file, known as the framework, needs to be installed as well. So, return to Extensions Manager. Install the other file that was extracted from the download. And upload it. Now the front end displays the site again with the new design. 
As it happens, this template included another supporting file, but it's optional, so I'll skip it. As developers use their own approach to an extent, it's impossible to teach the exact steps you'll need to follow for every template installation. However, the principles are always the same. Find a template you like. If you haven't installed Joomla yet, you can use a quick start package if that's an option. Otherwise, download the template file and install it into your site. If you need to install framework files too, go ahead and do that. Then mark the newly installed template as the default in Template Manager. Joomla template developers have the ability to include parameters that allow you to change the look and certain functionality of the template. Let's go back to Administrator and Template Manager and switch the default template back to the one that comes with the standard installation of Joomla. Now click on the template title here. Note that there are some options here in the right column. These options vary from one template to another, or they might not exist at all. These options are included at the discretion of the template developer. Let's have a look at some options available in this template. If you want to change the logo, you can do so by clicking the Select button and choosing a file from the site or uploading a new image. Alternatively, you can click the Clear button to remove the logo. If you do that, some text will be displayed instead, as specified by the content in the Site Title box. There is an optional second line of text too. Let's save these changes and look at the front end. You can see that the logo has been replaced by the two lines of text. This template also allows the position of the navigation to be changed from the left column to the right. And the design can be changed too. I will save and close now and show you these changes on the front end. In an earlier lesson, I explained that templates include code that tells Joomla where to position the modules. A good template developer will provide a map that displays the positions available in the template, like the one used in this example. It's helpful to have this on hand when you create a module, so you know where to position it. But if no template map is supplied, you will need to either open an existing module and look at its position, or try this trick. From Template Manager, click the Options button in the top right. In the pop-up window, change Preview Module Positions to Enabled. Click Save and Close and go to the front end to view your website. Then add the following to the URL of your home page forward slash index.php question mark tp equals 1. This displays light coloured boxes on top of the page contents. They're sometimes a bit hard to read, but the template position names are superimposed on the content. For example, the Articles menu module that was created in the earlier lesson is in position 7. So are the sample menus and the login form. At the bottom of the column is another position called 
position 5. At the bottom are positions 9, 10 and 11. There are various other positions too. And that's all there is to installing and configuring a template. Your exercise for this lesson is to go through our list of recommended Joomla template designers listed on the resources page at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to get the most out of Joomla by using extensions.